Alrighty guys, welcome back to the layout. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I do my scenery. Um, fairly simple. I went to Walmart and spent $12 and bought a uh, brown, flat brown color uh, for the base. As you can see, I got a little bit done here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of step by step what I do. Um, fairly simple. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to paint the hillside here first with our base color, as you can see. And then we'll just move on to step one after that. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Alrighty. I got my base color going here. I'm going to just go ahead and just apply it as usual, like you're painting your house or something. Get all the areas you want. Make sure you get them all. I kind of run my brush through there pretty strong. And I'm just going to do this one area just so I can show you guys, give you an example of how I do my scenery. Make sure it's all in there nice and good. And be careful around your rock formations. Just kind of go right over it. Just kind of watch where your stains are. And that's what I'm doing there. Just being very careful. Just like so. Now that we got that done and it's still wet, I'm going to apply a Woodland Scenic Soil, and this is a fine turf. Uh, it's very small, it looks better, um, it looks really nice with this color, in fact, it accents very well. Let's go ahead and get started on that. And as you can see here, this is the Woodland Scenics Fine Turf Soil. And what I did is I pinched out a little end like this. That way all you got to do is hold it and then just take the bag and just pull it, push and pull a little action there and then it actually comes out quite nice. And we apply a nice fairly, uh, well a nice fair amount if you will. Don't be afraid to get it on there. And of course if it goes on your rocks, that's alright, because uh, the tops of your rocks, you're going to want that dirt and grass and grime and everything else that goes on top of that, just like the real world. And there are a couple of colors that are not, uh, that I don't have right now that I will apply later, just because I want it to be more realistic uh, according to the prototype that I'm modeling. So, now that we have that pretty well soiled, which looks pretty darn good, get this end over here. We'll leave that alone. And then we're going to add the Woodland Scenic Spine Turf. Same thing, a little pinch out of the end. Uh, basically this is the earth color, it's more of a, a dirt and uh, kind of a lighter color than the soil. And that's just going to give us a little more accent color. That way we're not bland in one little spot. And you can see I'm applying it rather well. Just like so. And you can already see it's starting to take a pretty nice shape. And I think that's going to work good. Next we'll move on to our coarse turf. This is the light green coarse turf. I do the coarse first, then I come back with it with a fine. That way it kind of gives it uh, a nice little balance, if you will. And if it's not sticking well, give me just a second, let me grab my spray. I have a spray bottle here, um, water and liquid detergent. Uh, seems to be what the pros use. Give it a nice little squirt. Just like so. Soak it down pretty good. Make sure I leave that over here. Then let's go back over it with the green turf again. This time let's see if it doesn't stick a little better. Much better. As you can see it's starting to stick to the turf rather well.
And this just kind of simulates the little bushes and stuff that are within the forest or the hills, whichever you're trying to model. Now I'm going to say that's probably a decent amount. Next I'll move on to the coarse turf, and this is the yellow. Um, as you can see here, same thing. This time I opened up the holes a little bit, that way more would flow out. And just a hair of that. Nothing too big. I don't want too much yellow on my layout. Let me move on to our next color, which is the coarse turf burnt grass. And this is pretty much the main color that I use. Um, of course, I will come back with a, a nice, brighter dirt color to kind of give it some more definition and shape. Again, if we're not sticking, we'll just go ahead and shoot it again with water. Let's go ahead and do that. second to last we're going to grab our fine turf burnt grass this is the fine turf and we're just going to go ahead and just go right over everything that we already done as you can see it adds a nice little bit of definition to the layout Certainly greens everything up, and boy, does it look nice. Then I'll come back. i got to get some light colors still and uh, some dirt colors I want to throw in there. Just so I, like I said, I want to give it some accent, some different highlights. I don't want everything to look the same. And I think right there, for the most part, that looks pretty darn sharp. Um, I do, however, like to add, um, I showed you guys this earlier. This is the Timberline Scenery Forest Floor Cover. Um, basically, I'm just going to do the tops here, just right in this area, probably from here over, just to give it that forest floor look. Um, and then once I accent that with uh, other lighter colors, uh, we'll be amazed at the differences. Of course, I'm going to do a static grass later on, so um, that's only a matter of time. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. So we'll go ahead and crumble up and make sure we have a nice fine turf. I think that's going to work. And just take a little bit of time and just push it right down on it. And the nice thing about this Timberline scenery is it comes with little pieces of wood. So it really kind of gives it that little bit of an accent that it's actually on the floor. This is forest floor kind of stuff. If a little bit rolls down, oh well, no big deal. I think it actually kind of adds on to the color of it, which looks really sharp. Just keep adding little bits at a time, and I push down on it that way the, the water and the liquid underneath can soak into that. I don't want to go too far with it because I want to simulate that the mountain still keeps going up, so we'll kind of go a little bit in on there like that. And I don't have any more trees right now, otherwise I'd plant some trees. That way you guys can see how that works. But uh, you've seen in the earlier video what it looks like. So now that we have that kind of done, 
Uh, for the most part, maybe we should have a little bit more here and there. Just kind of extend it down a little bit in certain spots. All right, I think I'm pleased with that. Then what we'll do is we'll come back with the water. And we'll give it a nice soak. That way everything's kind of soaked down real good. Nice and light, that way nothing rolls off. And then we'll start spraying it. And don't be afraid to get it wet, folks. I mean, that's the key to this, especially if you want your liquid water and glue, your 50% mix to really go through all that. Well, there we go. I think I got a nice coating there. Now I have my wet glue. This is 50% Elmer's glue and water. And I uh, open that up real good. And just drop it on there. I just kind of start from the top. Just let it work its way down. And even if a little bit goes down with the Elmer's glue, oh well, that'll look good. That'll look really nice on your rocks, you know. All the rocks have a little bit of grass or something growing on them. So there you go, you can see that. And then with this stuff here with the Timberline scenery, I just glob it on there real good. And my glue, I think, is has a little plug on it. So it's not coming out as strong as I'd like. There we go. And we're just going to go over that real good, let that glue water soak into the scenery real nice. And that's going to really make it solid. There we go. Now we're getting a nice stream. Like I said, I want to come back with a static grass and apply really nice, you know, 3D standing grass. I can't wait to get through that. And then I'll, of course, do a demonstration on that also. But for now, we'll just get the basic uh, base down, and then we'll move on to the next spot. As you can see, the gluing process does take some time. And it does give your hands a workout, that's for sure. Whew. Well, once you feel you've gotten it all, that's pretty much it. We just wait and let this dry, and then uh, your scenery should be, I mean, solid. Solid as a rock. And then later I'll come back and uh, put the ballast on and, and that'll look really nice. I can show you guys how I do my ballasting. If I get some requests for it, I'll definitely do it for you guys. I know a lot of people like to watch the ballasting to see the different techniques or whatnot. Okay guys, well I'm going to leave it at that. There's just a brief overview of how I do my scenery. Like I said, there's still some colors that I need to throw in there. So uh, be patient with that and then... Um, once I get the other colors in there, I'll show you the update. That way you can really see the difference. Alrighty guys, well thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoy. Please feel free to leave any comments, questions, concerns, anything of the above. And uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.